What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today I'm bringing you a rudimentary tutorial on how to use a VPN on your PC. So if you're not familiar with VPNs in general, a VPN will reroute your connection so that it looks like you're somewhere else. So as you can tell right here, I'm hiding my IP address by virtue of using an IP address that is not mine. So ExpressVPN is connected to the Dallas server here, and that's why it shows that I'm in Dallas on my IP finder here. So if I go ahead and just turn this off, and let's say I connect to a different location. So let's just select something else here. Let's just um, let's just go with France, for example, connect to France, just wait a second or two, and we should be connected. And if I give it a refresh, my internet will basically interpret as if I'm in France myself. And that's how I will get access to uh, French content, French streaming services, French markets, Formrex, whatever it is, whatever kind of website, let's say that's only available in France or service that's only available in France, I'll be able to access it. And of course, you know, when I switch to different locations, I'll have all that access. As you can tell, it's as simple as going to a location and turning on the VPN, you know, practically, I kind of showed you the tutorial here. But what I'm going to do is also demonstrate some of the features in uh, ExpressVPN, so that you have a little bit of an idea of what VPNs typically have as far as features. So the first feature I want to talk about is the kill switch. And of course, once you understand these features, you'll know how to use them, and therefore you'll be able to use a VPN more efficiently. Okay, so the kill switch, which is called Network Lock here in ExpressVPN, of course, you'll find it in the other VPNs. And by the way, these are some of the top recommended VPNs that I typically recommend. Uh, Express, Nord, and Surfshark. I'll leave all the links if you guys are interested in any of these, whether you're looking to learn more about them or go straight to the pricing or discounts, you'll find everything you need in the description down below. So what I wanted to just quickly demonstrate, so if I go to the settings here and I go to the kill switch, you'll see that it's called the kill switch here. It's just called differently in um, ExpressVPN. Okay, so getting back into it, the kill switch will stop the internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. So this will make sure that you're only gonna be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN tunnel. Otherwise, it will temporarily cut your internet connection. Now, split tunneling is gonna allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not, which is a pretty useful feature. And for example, you can use it, let's say I want only my, my torrenting client and my Chrome to use the VPN while the rest of my applications and everything else on my computer won't be affected by the VPN. So it's a pretty useful feature. Now here we have advanced protection, which is a recent feature that was added in ExpressVPN. And this is, I suppose, pretty self-explanatory to most people. You can also use it as a simple form of parental control. So if you'd like to block adult sites, you can do that. You can also block ads, trackers, and malicious sites. As far as protocols, this is the type of encryption that you're gonna be using. So uh, because advanced protection is on, I can only use Lightway, but Lightway is the one you wanna use anyways because it's optimized for um, ExpressVPN on Windows specifically. This is the Lightway uh, UDP optimized version of ExpressVPN. But either way, you're only gonna be using Lightway UDP because it's the best one for speed and security and everything. Now here you've got shortcuts, which will show up when you turn on the VPN. So if I go ahead and turn on the VPN now, you'll see all these shortcuts um, pop up right here and you can add whatever shortcut you'd like. You've got browser extensions and that is basically it. You can also choose to share crash reports to help ExpressVPN improve their service. That's all you need to know. Okay, so basically you've got the basic features of a VPN, which are the kill switch, split tunneling, a good protocol, and perhaps bonus features like blocking adult websites or ads or whatever. And that's all you need to know to basically operate a VPN. Besides that, you can just go ahead and you know, select the appropriate location. In this case would be the United States if I'm trying to, let's say, access Hulu. So I'll just connect to a United States server. And just to double check, I'll go ahead and refresh that. Yeah, it should say that I'm in Seattle now. And that is basically how you use a VPN. And of course, this will apply to uh, NordVPN and Surfshark. How do you operate the VPN? You can go to the settings. You'll find the same settings. 
Here you have a kill switch, you have an ad blocker, you have protocols, split tunneling is called bypasser here, you have a speed tester, and you know, you'll see some bonus features here and there. Of course, if you're interested in learning all about these, you'll find the full reviews in the description down below. And if you'd like to, you know, try out any of these VPNs, they do have a 30 day money back guarantee in case you'd like to just give it a try. And maybe you're not sure. So if you change your mind, you can always get the refund. So you'll find the discounts below if you'd like to just claim a few extra months for free uh, so that you can save a little bit in the long term. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.